How'd you get in? I didn't hear the doorbell ring. Sorry. I was busy getting my next board sort order ready. That's right. Getting my next board sort order ready. So you know what that means. That means we got paid. So just give me a moment. I'll be right with you. We'll uh, get this all done up and I'll show you how we made out. So, just got back in front of the computer. Um, so I just wanted to tell you how this went down. About a week, nine days ago, sent the, the order off the board sort. You can catch that in the uh, board sort playlist. I'll link that video as well and that playlist. Um, so I just got an email from Chris at Board Sort. It says, hello, we are sending you the funds of 20546 to your PayPal account to purchase the material you recently shipped with us. There was one correction. The multi-socket server board were not large socket, they were small socket. Yeah, I made my, that mistake. E-Waste might made sure to tell me that I made that mistake. Imagine that. It says, thank you for your business. We appreciate it very much. And then, Chris from Board Sword, he's a really nice guy. He also put PS. He put a PS, right? Isn't that awesome? PS. Um, nice junk. You are a way better guy to deal with than that e-waste Mike. And uh, even though e-waste Mike gives us more business, um, we'd much rather deal with you because you're a way nicer guy. Well, uh, thanks, Chris. I really appreciate that. And uh, I'm sure E-Waste Mike does too. So, I will turn around, bring up my PayPal account and share that with you just to see how the, the um, exchange went. So, if you remember, I think it was $242, but I did make a mistake, so they adjusted it. But I've heard that board sort will adjust up or down if you made a mistake in your, you know, your favor, they will bring you up. So it's, they're a really good bunch of guys to deal with. Um, this time it was my fault, so you went down a little bit it's not the end of the world. I had a lot of other good scrap, so I still made money. That's all that matters. And another thing that matters is we got across the border. So this urban myth that board sort won't accept Canadian orders is crap. They will. Um, all I can suggest is look through my videos you'll see how i did it um you got to send the right stuff do not send anything that's under three dollars and fifty cents a pound unless it's those two dollar chips you know you can send those two dollar chips uh, because you'll always have space in a box there's always air right so if you know if you put some of those two dollar chips in a bag you can shove them in a void it's not going to cost you any any extra and it's just extra money so that's my suggestion not under three dollars and fifty cents anything under three dollars and fifty cents depopulate for the best chips and send it off oh another thing is to use a place like you know parcel pirate ship ship station there's a lot of them out there and you can get some really big bargains in shipping using those things they act like a co-op so their buying power is not just you anymore it's the 40,000 clients they have so they're negotiating prices based on the traffic 40,000 people I don't know if it's 40,000, I'm using that as a number. But you understand what I'm saying. 
right? The bigger the number, the better negotiating power. That's why they're able to get you 60, 75% off. Even getting you percentages off on Canada Post. And down in the States, I am sure there is a shipping station, like a shipping company like that, that um, does the exact same thing. Like I say, check out Pirate Ship, Ship Station. I use Net Parcel. Oh, we also got a mail call. Let's see. There's no return address on it. Okay. Metroplex, Michigan. So we'll open this up. Let's see. Oh, there's an index card and it's a note from e-waste bike. It says, nice junk. You are the best YouTuber on YouTube. Well, thank you, Mike. I really appreciate that. I never thought he cared that much. He says, oh, I also look forward to the lies you do Friday night with those two other scoundrels. Mm. He says, you'd be way better off to dump those guys and just run on your own. I, I can't do that. Hey, they're my buddies. I'm like, don't be like that. See? And I will prove this is what he said. Because I don't lie. Yeah, I know it says totally not worthy of this. But I know how to read between the lines. He also gave me a couple e-waste mic stickers that's awesome thank you mike thank you very much buddy i appreciate you and i know you love me i love you too anyways back to the paypal okay so here we are i don't know who this bruce abda hall is but or however you say that that is definitely um, board sorts address, Lines, Ohio, so we know this is correct. So here we go. So this is the account activity on that transaction. They sent 205 um, an American, ended up getting 265.86 Canadian. The PayPal transaction fees, $10.14. Leaving us with a net of two hundred and fifty-five dollars seventy-two cents Canadian. So, it's really not that bad of a deal. Yeah, we had to pay for shipping, but I already proven in the last video that shipping within the United States is even more expensive than shipping from Canada to the United States using the appropriate shipping. Um, ways that I've taught you in the video um, that's it for this episode of nice junk um, and I'm sorry $255 that's some nice junk catch you all next time